Harry Potter, perhaps the most popular book series of all time. Its film adaptation some of the biggest blockbusters in recent memory. But just how faithful were the films to their source material? We're going to check it out on this episode of Book to Screen. Let's begin with the death of Lily and James Potter. In the films, as we all know, Lily Potter's love protects Harry from Voldemort's killing curse. In the books, however, Rowling writes in great detail that Harry avoided Voldemort's curse not with magical protection from his mother's love, but with a tiny little bulletproof vest. Why did the filmmakers make the change to such an important scene? Why don't we get to see baby Harry find the tiny little vest, crawl over to it, and put it on? We don't know. Lily's death leads us to Professor Snape. Now, the films really do a great job of capturing the antagonistic relationship between Severus and Harry, as well as the underlying devotion Snape feels for Lily Potter. What they left out, however, is the way Snape introduces himself to Harry in the books by saying, Hello Harry, I'm in love with your mom. As readers know, Snape continues to greet Harry with these exact words every time they see each other for the next eight years. Certainly an odd exclusion. Also interesting is the choice of the filmmakers to make Snape a snake and call him Professor Snape. Something that the films created that is not in the books is the way everyone in the wizarding world is always saying, what's up, magic man, to one another. Personally, I like this edition, and I think J.K. Rowling would too, wherever she is. Moving on to Voldemort's nefarious henchmen, the Death Eaters. Creepy, dark-cloaked evildoers hell-bent on keeping the wizarding world purebloods only. Interestingly, in the books they're called bad boys, and their dark mark tattoo is not a snake in a skull, but an angry, muscular bulldog with the text, take a picture over it. Seems like an odd choice to me. Also, there are several chapters in the books which don't revolve around Harry and his friends at all. J.K. Rowling periodically will just write, I am the author J.K. Rowling, magic is real, I'm not using my hand to write this, it's all real. I understand leaving these chapters out of the movies, as they would have been difficult to show visually. In the end, I give the Harry Potter films three out of five faithful adaptation stars. Why did these changes happen? Who made those decisions and how do you even make a movie? Nobody knows. See you guys next time when we break down Game of Thrones. Now, one of the most surprising and memorable parts in Book 7 is when Harry discovers that he buried Dobby alive, not even alluded to in the movies. 